Hello and welcome to today's NetBees demo. Today we're talking about RFC 1918. This request for comments defines a set of private IPv4 addresses. When I say private uh, or internal, that means that this set of addresses are not routable on the internet. So any router uh, connected to the internet will discard packets that carry um, IP addresses defined in this RFC 1918. The motivation for this RFC was that uh, in 1996, when uh, uh, this uh, RFC was defined, it was already clear that the internet was quickly exhausting uh, available IPv4 addresses. I think that uh, at the time uh, when uh, IPv4 was defined, uh, they thought that 4 billion of hosts would be enough to um, address all the uh, hosts in the world. Uh, unfortunately, in the 90s, it was already clear that the growth rate of the internet would quickly exhaust this uh, address space, uh, um, limiting and challenging the growth of the internet itself, as we know it. Uh, so for this reason, they uh, met and defined a set of subnets, three subnets, uh, that uh, organization could use internally without requiring uh, coordination with YANA, which is the Internet Registry Authority that uh, assigns a block of IPv4 addresses to uh, private or public organizations. Uh, however, these three hosts, everybody can use them however they want as long as these uh, IP addresses are limited to internal private networks. So really every router has to discard packet uh, that carry these IP addresses because it should be confined internally. So another uh, methodology that uh, made also RC 1918 um, possible is a network address translation, also NAT. NAT are generally devices that um, enable communication between internet and uh, uh, internal or private networks. Uh, generally is implemented by routers or firewall, for example, your home router has um, a, a NAT uh, that allows your internal host, uh, which are not a reachable from the internet, uh, they allow to communicate with internet services or internet uh, hosts. Um, the way it works is that a NAT device has one interface on the public in internet and one interface on a private network and basically masquerades a connection from internal host to uh, internet host by replacing um, the internal IP with its own public IP. So in the end, it looks like uh, another device is uh, performing the communication with the end host in the internet, whereas it's just translating and masking, masquerading this uh, communication of an internal host. So again, RSC 1918 uh, makes possible to use uh, uh, private addressing without using uh, public IP addresses. Um, you know, everybody can configure 1918 address without requiring a coordination with YANA or an internet registry. Um, will um, RC 1918 go away as well as IPv4? Most probably, but uh, still the uh, migration to IPv6 uh, is uh, slowly moving forward, yet is happening. Uh, but for sure, RC 1918 addresses are here to stay for a bit while.